Former Floridale Hills officials appear in federal court accused of stealing more than $600,000 from the city. Now, Fox, who was the only TV station there as former employees left the court building after pleading not guilty to federal fraud and embezzlement charges. The alleged theft costing the small town big. That is tonight's You Paid For. The indictment accuses former Floridale Hills City Clerk, 68-year-old Maureen Woodson, and former Assistant City Clerk, 75-year-old Donna Thompson, of wire fraud and mail fraud. They're accused of using their positions to steal $633,000 from the tiny, struggling town of about 1,100 people over a six-year period. Here's Assistant U.S. Attorney in St. Louis, Hal Goldsmith. How'd they get away with doing that for so long? Yeah, the indictment alleges that they controlled the finances of the city. They uh, paid, received the bills, they paid the bills, they reconciled the bank statements, um, they had authorization to write checks. Um, so I think they were able to conceal the scheme um, because they controlled the finances. The indictment says the stolen money was used to pay personal expenses and for gambling both online and at area casinos. And money was also used for retail vendor charges, entertainment, and taxes owed to the IRS. I couldn't catch up with the mayor or other officials. Florida Hills residents we talked to were stunned by the thefts. The indictment says city officials were unaware of the scheme. How do you feel when you hear about something like that? As a taxpayer. Here? I mean, it, 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 it aggravates you because, you know, you're the one paying the taxes and basically it's like you're giving, you're giving them the money, you know. You're like, okay, I could have skipped a step and just gave it to them. If <laughs> so what do you think about this, that the two officials indicted for stealing like $600,000? I think it's a shame. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, that they could have used the money on better things and should have been more responsible. How are taxpayers hurt by something like this? Well, as you know, Floridale Hills is a very small um, municipality. About 800 residents. I think their annual operating budget is between two and three hundred thousand um, dollars, and seven hundred thousand dollars out of those coffers is a big hurt um, on that small community. There were times when they couldn't pay bills. You know, the municipality couldn't pay its bills, um, and based upon the fact that there's uh, the scheme by these two defendants. Yeah, it could have been used for a whole lot of things better over in this area other than for them. So, so yeah, yeah. That, it, but it is very surprising. Now, the two women were released without having to post bail, but there is a stipulation of their release that they stay away from gambling and join Gambling Anonymous. You can, of course, bet I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.